Peace, love, and light, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal B. You're coming your way. You already know the Black Vegan Raw. So I am coming through today with the full moon reading. So if you follow the cosmics or you follow the moon cycles, you know that we are having a full moon on January 10th and cancer so the full moon is in cancer and sebek which is the ancient kemet deity so it's in with cancer and sebek not only that though this full moon has a lunar eclipse attached to it okay so can you say energy can you say a powerful energetic ten? first foremost you already know so i got my wine right here and these like i make colored wines and then i make like straight wines like powerful uh, uh manifestation type of time things okay tools that you might need in your uh, practices so if you would like to hit me up double check on my website www.roopsoflife123.com or dm me or slide me a message but um this is my baby it's a colorful wine, but you know, since I create them, I made a colorful wine, but more like a potent wine for manifestation. So this got the eye, the ankh, as well as the om symbol, and it has my zodiac signs as well. So I just thought it was only appropriate. But anyway, so let's get back to the video. So high powerful time that we are dealing with right now in january with this full moon in cancer and then this lunar eclipse as well as sebek being present oh my gosh it is so 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 high energy so much high energy is like huh, i gotta like revert to my shell like i gotta just stay in, in the crib you know what i'm saying like i'm like all right um even though I should be out mingling, uh, the way I'm feeling right now, I gotta go home. <laughs> but anyway, so let's talk about it. So first, we're in Capricorn season. So Capricorn deals with Saturn. And then the full moon is in Cancer, and Cancer deals with the moon. So Saturn and Capricorn, Capricorn is the father of the Zodiac, and Cancer is the mother of the Zodiac. So you have two opposite energies basically coming together at one time and if you deal with numerology you will know that um if you deal with numerology or you deal with the cosmics i'll clarify that then you might know that uh cancer is 20 degrees of the moon and capricorn is 20 degrees from the sun as well as mercury is in conjunction with capricorn which is 20 degrees from the sun and we are in the year of 2020 and we are in the first month of 2020 so right there that's just highly energetic energy because the number 20 it deals with intimacy it deals with like matters through your heart it also helps to break down division so when I say division, instead of having a lot of arguments or saying I'm right, you're wrong, you'll you could come to a mutual agreement and be like, you know what, let's just agree to disagree. And also, not only that, we we got this lunar eclipse. So with this lunar eclipse, okay, with any full moon helps deal with completion, letting go of things, completion. Um, but with the lunar eclipse being attached to this full moon, this is a high time to let things go. Anything that is not serving you, let it go. 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 Okay. Like real talk. <laughs> like really stop holding on to things that is not for your greater good. Stop holding on to, to toxicity. Stop holding on to bad relationships hoping that they'll be better look at things as it is accept things as they are and if it's not serving you please let it go for you and move forward and continue your life and continue your journey but let it go this full moon is letting you know that this is the time to let it all go we are starting a brand new cycle in 2020 and you don't want to carry old baggage that you really should have left left back in 2019. You want to let it go. Um, so 
that's one point with the lunar eclipse but another point is that the lunar eclipse is going to bring out that shadow side guys so i don't know if you felt it or not yet but the side of you that's hidden deep within like the side of you that tell you that sick and sad story that tell you that sad depressing story over and over and over and over in your mind like that side of you so if you have what i mean by that is basically like all right the the inner part of you that be like um hmm, you're not good enough i don't even know why you're trying to do that or what makes you think you're better than that person or you know i i I don't, I don't think we're going to do that. Like that doubt in, like the lower vibration, that lower frequency within. That voice within that basically tell us that we're not good enough or we can't and we won't and we won't ever amount to. Okay, so this lunar eclipse is going to bring out that side. And it's up to you to confront this shadow side. And I know it's easier said than done because just like any type of sickness, when you try to confront your shadow side, it basically knows that you are trying to overcome this and that it's going to keep playing tricks in your mind to make it seem like it's your reality. And it's really the story that's, that's being told over and over to you that's like a fantasy. So um because you're trying to defeat this and escape from this it's going to go hard so one way to combat that is to basically journal it out journal it out write it down sometimes you just need to write it down and let it go okay so journaling or just writing down that sort story no no matter how simple or silly it sounds write the story down and just let it go from your subconscious so just be mindful of that and also let's go into the cancer so with cancer cancer is home in the moon so cancer is ruled by the moon and cancer is the sweet nurturing joyous energy the love loving energy the mother home but cancer also have like a mysterious and secretive side and tends to like revert in the shell a lot so during this time you don't want to have like a clingy nature to anything or you don't want to retreat and just like be on your lonesomeness like during this time you want to basically be happy and joyous and inviting and bring in that nurturing energy and you also want to embrace your magic uh the moon is very magical so you want to manifest this is the opportune time to manifest and with the full moon you usually can use the full moon energy the day before the full moon the full moon and the day after the full moon um whichever you choose you can manifest all three days if you choose you can manifest on the full moon whichever is best for your schedule but i'm telling you use this time to manifest embrace your magic baby okay because why aren't you that's all i gotta say um but this is the time to basically embrace your magic look within and see any of the talents that you might have any like secret skills that you might be holding on to that you have been like scared to show the world or showcase this is the time to uncover it and then put it forward into the universe make things happen um now we're gonna go into sebek so sebek is one of the ancient deities of kemet and sebek is ruled by mercury so you see how that all go in sync we got the moon we got the saturn we got mercury all playing together so sebek deals with communication deals with logic and analyzing things and like parts so just know that Mercury also have a tendency to be the trickster. So with that energy and then the eclipse, it can really play mind tricks on you. So just remember to decipher what is real and what is not real, okay? Because your mind is going to be playing tricks on you, I'm telling you. Um, and we also have two planets that's going into retrograde this month. It's going to be Uranus and Neptune. And Uranus is basically going in retrograde, I believe, on the 11th, right after um, the full moon. Okay, so it's a lot of energy. It's a lot of energy. Uranus is really dealing with focusing on like the freedom, the inner freedom within. And Neptune is going retrograde, I believe, like... January 25th around that time but 
um, that deals with like focus on your spirituality, your inner tranquility, your vision. So it's a very powerful month, guys. Take advantage of January and take advantage of the energy that is being held within January, okay? Okay, guys, so we're going to get into your oracle message for this full moon. And I have my angelic or spray that I sell with my business, the IC. So I'm just going to spray some of this. And this is my holy water and um, Florida water and oil mixture that I got together. So we sprayed that sacred space. We're going to ask for a message for this full moon, guys. Told you stubborn energy. Like I'm about to just kick it. All right. So we got three here, and you know how I do. Gotta pick one out the three, baby. Up. Oh. All right, we're gonna pick the one that fell. All right. So the one that fell, it says, Don't let your past hold you back. South node. So let's see what the south node is. Don't let your past hold you back, bruh. That tells you a lot. Then we just say let go. Then we just say let go. I think we said just let it go. All right. So South Node. The South Node is like the North Node. It's a karmatic point, but the opposite to the North Node and relates to the past, perhaps even to past lives. Whatever you're going through and whatever you're asking about, there is a chance that age old programming and conditioning is stopping you from achieving all that you might do you feel stuck in something this card will often come up as a sign that the situation or relationship you're asking about has somehow become suffocating even toxic it suggests that you sorry it suggests that someone you even needs to be released that there is some kind of addiction going on or an unhealthy attachment that needs to be sorted out. One thing for sure, when you get this card, you're being challenged to make some change even if staying where you are feels easier and safer. I release the past. A relationship is karmic and has played out across many lifetimes. Your attraction to someone may be virgin on the obsessive. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. And then it says the teaching. The south node is where the moon crosses the elliptic going south. On the horoscope chart, it shows us that we are likely to become obsessed with, but which will probably do us little to no good. The south node is the karmatic astrologic point that reminds us of the well-known phrase if you always do what you always done you'll always get what you've got ain't that something then we just talk about letting the past go we just talked about letting the past go <laughs> we just talked about that sad story that we continue to play in our mind and that south node just basically confirmed that we need to let it go even if it's within ourselves guys ain't that crazy Whew, I tell you, you see how the message is being sync? South Node. That's why I just picked the card that dropped. I said, you know what? I got two in my hand and one that fell. The one that fell is it. And it was. All right, so then these are my my self messages that I made index cards. So we're going to pull a couple of these guys. And I'm just going to basically shuffle them up and pick three for us because this video is getting long. All right, so one that one wanted to come out and three all right so make better choices stop dwelling on the past <laughs> how much are you putting into this find balance and go out and treat yourself like a queen or king oh my gosh first i get this one all the time for me like i'm like all right body i swear i'm gonna go out i swear <laughs> but but you see how this one make better choices stop doing on the past we keep getting this past energy being brought up guys we gotta let it go it's a new year let that go let it fly it's time to go you know what i mean and find balance find your truth find who you are where you want to be what you want to do it's time don't give up love yourself first and remember yo it's a new year and we want to new things 
I hope you enjoyed this um, message from the universe and from me. Guys, it's your girl, Crystal Dior. Peace, love, and light.